Where is Rhys Roger? He's been missing since the 18th of March, having gone camping and fishing with friends. Let's talk about Rhys and detail everything we know about his case. I'm going to start with Police Scotland, who put some information on their website two weeks after his disappearance. But his partner has put much more detailed information on uh, their Facebook group. So we're going to get into that shortly. But I just want to read what the police have said about his disappearance. So almost two weeks on from when 28-year-old Reese Roger was last seen, officers are making a further appeal to the public for any information that may help trace him. Reese, who is from Fife, was last seen by his friends while camping on the north shore of Loch Rannoch near to Kilikonan, I think that is, around 11.30pm on Saturday 18th of March 2023. We know that that time isn't quite right, but we'll get there. This is what the, the police said initially. He's described as six foot of medium build with dark hair. When last seen, he was wearing a black long sleeve t-shirt with distinctive white letters on both sleeves spelling out Ma Strum. Black jogging bottoms and black Wellington boots. Enquiries are ongoing to trace Reese, and officers have been assisted by resources including air support, dive and marine units, police dogs and mountain rescue teams. Inspector Steve Gray said, Despite extensive inquiries, rigorous searches in the local areas and previous appeals, we have not been able to trace Reese. As time goes on, concerns are growing and we are again appealing for anyone who saw Reese, or who has any information on his whereabouts to contact us. I would appeal to anyone who was travelling on the B846 between 11pm on 18th of March and 7am on 19th of March and who may have witnessed anyone or who may have dash cam footage which could assist us to get in touch. I would like to thank the family and friends of Reese who have assisted in searches to date. I would also ask anyone planning to attend searches this weekend to remain safe and plan for the conditions. The terrain can be difficult with open water and changeable weather conditions, and we want to ensure everyone remains safe. Anyone with information that may assist is urged to call 101, quoting reference number... 1348 of Sunday 19th of March. So things have moved on since those early days, but still, sadly, Rhys has not been located. His partner, Paula Erzy, has a Facebook group called Please Help Find Rhys. And uh, there's a lot of information. Actually, I'm going to join the group. It is a public group, so I'm not giving details out from a private group here. But uh, Paula's been putting on updates that have been picked up by the media. But I'm going to take it from Paula's own words here. So on April the 8th, she uh, detailed quite a little bit more about who Reese is and a little bit more detail about his disappearance. Who is Reese? Reese is 28 with dark hair and six feet tall. Medium build who likes the gym when he can fit it in around work and the kids. Reese is from Ross With, but we live in High Valley Field, my home village. And we're going to show you the location and, you know, all of that in a second. He's a daddy to two little boys who are aged four and one, and he's my soulmate. He absolutely adores our boys and they do him. He's really hardworking and committed to providing the best for us as a family. So he's not a guy that would go off and just disappear. Right? That's not an option. He's the softest guy you'd meet, pretends to be big and brave, but then scared to answer the door. He locks the door straight after closing it behind him. One of the things I love about him. Reese is the life and soul of the party, loves a joke and a dance. Most of all, he's a home bird, always wants to go home no matter where he goes. I don't know why this is, but it's a thing he does. His dad and our eldest boy are exactly the same. I'm the same as well. <laughs> Wherever I go, 
I just want to go home. So I get that. I understand that completely. So where's High Valley Field? Well, this is Loch Rannoch, and uh, they were fishing and camping just outside of this village here. This is where Reese was last seen by a passing motorist. So we'll get there shortly. High Valley Field, where they live, is just over 90 miles from Loch Rannoch. I don't think he's going to have tried to walk home, but what was Reese doing? Because there is a sighting of him that is a little bit concerning. So what we know about his disappearance. Reese went fishing with four friends to Loch Rannoch on the 18th of March, north side of the shore around this area. Reese likes fishing but isn't an experienced fisherman. He goes for a laugh, fun and some drinks. So there's a possibility that Reese was drinking alcohol on the night, which could be a factor, in my opinion. Reese had a good phone signal and phoned me lots throughout the day. Now, some people in this group have said that they can't get a signal at this location, but it does seem to depend, you know, this is in, in the wilds of nowhere, it does seem to depend on what phone carrier you have. But it seemed that Reese was calling Paula throughout the day, he did have a phone signal. He said he was having a great time, but was mourning about the weather as it was raining at points. In one phone call around 4pm, he says, I think I want to come home, which is like, this is Reese all over. I'm like, here we go, phone your dad then. He says, no, I'll be okay. So presumably he didn't have his own transport. Presumably he went with one of his friends and the friends were going to take him home. I'm just guessing, but as you know, Paula said to him, phone your dad, then I'm guessing that he hadn't taken his own vehicle. He phones lots after this and he's in a great mood. Of course, the rain has stopped. I last hear from Reese at 23.18. Now, this is crucial. 23.18, which is 18 minutes past 11 in the p.m. I was working and it was noisy. I think she works in a bar. He just asked if I was okay and what was happening? I said, I'm fine. I'm still working. The call lasted one minute and four seconds. Reese's phone goes off at 23.19. So by goes off, I'm guessing she means that the call ended at 23.19. So 19 minutes past 11 in the p.m. Reese walked off from the boys at some point around 11 p.m. We know that's not quite true. We've got some new information about Reese's phone. The boys assumed he'd gone back to the camp van where one of the boys was already sleeping. It only sleeps two. The others slept in a tent and a car. There was a potential sighting of Reese around 11.30 to 11.35 on the 18th of March. Two people in a car saw a male walking along the B846 between Learn Farm and Orlick. Uh, I apologise if I'm getting these names wrong. So this is Learn Farm, Holiday Cottages. This is the B road here that uh, she's talking about. And Orlick is just a little village just right here. So it's somewhere on this road. And we can go down to street level on this road. So, as you can see, there's the lock. Yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about Scottish locks. So, they're large lakes. They're usually, like, long and thin, but they're very, very deep. I had a couple of questions about things like dive searches and stuff like that on the video that I did a couple of days ago about Finn Creaney, who was walking near a lock. And um, they're incredibly difficult bodies of water to search because they are very deep and very steep. But there is a dive team who have been assisting the family. So I'm going to mention them uh, before we finish this. So this is the B846. So he's somewhere along this road and he was traveling east between the Learn Farm holiday place and Orlick. 
so you can see that at places certainly it's very close to the water that could be a factor now it's not steep there it does become a little bit steeper kind of around here but that goes a little bit further away from the water so again here very close to the water unless you've actually been to a scottish lock or seen a scottish lock you don't appreciate these bodies of water they're hugely dangerous potentially anyway one got out to ask if the person needed assistance but the person was gone so two people driving along see a guy now was he stumbling was there a reason why they thought that they needed to stop and ask if he was okay? Was he drunk? Because he had gone fishing to, you know, socialise and, and so on. So was he drunk and stumbling around and they nearly hit him maybe? And one of them got out, but he was gone. And then they've got no more leads after that. Well, there is another potential lead, which relates to this sighting but his phone pings. Now, remember that he rang Paula at 23.18 and his friends, the initial report was that he was last seen around 11 at the camping area. And then he rang Paula at 23.18, but the call only lasted a minute because she was at work. There has been some information. So there's Reese and Paula and the little family. There's loads of people helping. So this is drone footage at Loch Rannoch. If you can hear that, it's someone mowing the lawn outside. So they've got tons of people helping them. Let's just read what this guy here uh, says. Easter Sunday, I got up early and made the drive to the what three words location of his last phone ping. I done an extensive search of the area and also completed the final stretch of the northern coast of the lock to the hotel. It's just a small sample of today's flight. From this perspective, I'm able to see into the water out to about 30 feet from the shore and, of course, the shoreline itself. Understandably, due to it being Easter Sunday, it was quiet with not many people around, but there was a police dog handler van parked up and they must have been away searching the hill with dogs and they were nowhere in sight, so fingers crossed the dogs can find something. So this is drone footage. So you can see the B road just there. And you can see you can see how steep how steep that is. This is Scot Scottish locks, the the deep, the place where the water's built up over millennia were rifts in the landscape due to um, continental shifts and stuff. Uh, the Scottish mountains are actually related to the Appalachian mountains in uh, North America. Continental shifts and all sorts of things. Uh, and the landscape's very similar to the Appalachians. Uh, for those Americans who watch my channel, there's lots of you. It's very, very clear footage. All right, so let's talk about his phone ping. Paula put some information on about that. Hold on. Okay, here it is. So this is from May 13th, so a week ago. There have been a few developments from the police I wanted to share with you. Further analysis has been undertaken of Reese's phone, and I can now confirm Reese was one hour, 20 minutes east of the campsite. One hour, 20 minutes east. Now, that's one hour, 20 minutes walking, not one hour, 20 minutes driving, right? So that's walking. East of the campsite at 23.20 on the 18th of March. So he left that campsite earlier than his friends had thought. So he must have left it around 10 p.m. rather than 11 p.m. The phone signal was in the vicinity of where the potential sighting was. So I can also now confirm it was Reese seen at 23.30 
on the 18th of March, these two people in the car. It means Rhys left the campsite a lot earlier than initially advised. So a lot earlier than the police realised. So he left that campsite about, must have been about 10, to be in that location of that sighting at 23.30. And remember, he called Paula at 23.18. So he must have been walking east from the campsite, which is here. Walking east along here. And then he was seen between here and this village. Uh, wherever it is up there. They do have the exact location, but it's somewhere in this area. And that's where his phone last pinged. So that sighting of that man that these people got out to help was Reese. The precise location of this sighting can be found within the What Three Words app with the following three words. Handed, resonated, canny. This location is between Lane Farm and Orlick. This area east towards the Loch Rannock Hotel is still our main focus. So he could have got a little bit further East, uh, the Rannock Hotel is along here somewhere, a little bit further up. Uh, there it is. So between the location of the sighting and this area is where they are concentrating their searches because he had to be on this road. Now, which way did he step after the people saw him and then he'd just gone? Had he gone into the lock or had he gone the other way and gone up the hill? and got into trouble somewhere. What's concerning is that there's no sightings of Reese on CCTV from either of the two hotels in the area. So he's not gone past those hotels, that tells me. Not on the road, anyway. As you know from my previous post, Reese's phone was off before he was seen at 23.30. So it was actually off by 23.30. That's concerning. He would no headlight, therefore he's walked for at least 10 minutes with no light. Because you remember he rang Paula at 23.18 and his phone was off by 23.30. That was his last phone ping. The witnesses who saw Reese at this time offered assistance, but he had disappeared from view. We are unsure if Reese made it out of this area as you can see, there's a bear here. Reese has no light and there is little glare from the lock. He may have injured himself and or become disoriented. This is why it's really important the cars that pass on this road, B846, after 23.30 hours on the 18th are so crucial. We need to know if they passed this precise location and if they saw anyone walking or not. Shoreline and water searches are now our main focus from the place seen as detailed above, heading east to the Loch Rannock Hotel and beyond out to the dam. Please remember the reward for anyone that helps us bring Reese home. They're offering a £10,000 reward. So there have been more searches for Reese, and uh, the dive team that are local to me called Beneath the Surface have been helping in the search for Reese. So I'm just going to show you their Facebook group. So these guys are called Beneath the Surface. They come from very close to me in Northern England and they've been helping find Reese. So um, they've said here a day ago, becoming our home away from home. Always a pleasure to see this sign. We are always welcomed so generously. We are on our way for Reese Roger and they're just heading into Scotland. Welcome to Scotland. This weekend, we'll be heading back to Kinloch Rannock in Scotland to conduct a further search for Rhys Roger. Rhys hasn't been seen or heard from since camping on the shore of Loch Rannock on the 18th of March. We urge anyone who may have been holidaying or driving in the area that night to think back, check any dash cam footage and to contact Police Scotland with any further information. This guy is 28 years old. He's got two little boys aged four and one. He's a homebody. He needs to go home. He needs to go home. 
So if you've got any information at all, contact Police Scotland on 101 quoting reference number 1348 of Sunday 19th of March. Please help find Reese. If you're in the area, if you were in the area at the time, if you live in the area and you can go out just onto the hills, have a look around the lock, anything, anything at all, Reese needs to go home. Okay, that's it for now. Bye, guys. <laughs>